So I found myself trying to figure out where the exhaust shutters are on a Merc Cruiser 888. And so this Merc Cruiser engine is probably from around uh, 1975-ish, give or take a few years. Uh, I've identified it as an 888. Uh, and what I noticed is the newer models had the shutters right here uh, up high on the Y tube that goes down to the engine. Now the Y tube on this is missing. I have it on my workbench. I'm going to show it to you in a second. But normally the Y tube would go down and around and then it would bolt to the gimbal and that's where your exhaust is. And the newer models have those shutters up high on the top of the Y so they're really easy to get to. Unfortunately, this particular model, uh, you, you pretty much can't get to it, at least with my boat, unless you pull the engine. Luckily for me, I just pulled the engine because I was having oil pump issues. The shaft actually twisted off uh, going to the oil pump. So I had to pull the engine anyhow uh, to be able to get to it. So I'm going to show you where these shutters are, uh, mainly because I did a lot of Googling myself, and I really couldn't find a good answer. Uh, and so I'll show you where they're at. So this is the Y-tube that I was talking about, uh, and this is the part that uh, bolts to the gimbal housing. And these ends are up high, and this is normally where the shutters are. And when I got digging into this boat, not knowing a whole lot about Merc Cruiser engines, I could not find shutters, and I actually assumed that maybe they didn't use them. Uh, that's not the case. There are shutters on this system, and where they're at is they're down here in the joint. So if you pull these apart and you take a look, they're not on this side. They sit on this side. And so you can see there is there's my shutter or what's left to it. And it's basically a, a like a plastic neoprene type ring. And you you can pull it out like that. And the shutter would normally sit here. And I'll show you what a shutter looks like. This is a new shutter. And this part here, which looks very burnt, is really just this part here. So in my case, the shutters have been burnt out. They need replaced. So really the hardest part about replacing these shutters are basically getting to them. As you can see, these exhaust tubes are behind the engine, so under a normal circumstance they're hard to get to. Uh, and in my case, I had to pull the engine. Uh, but once you, you get them out of the way and pull them out of the boat, and there's just basically three bolts. They come apart. Uh, they have like a ring that holds the uh, shutter in there. It all just comes back out. And you take the old uh, shutter, whatever's left, and pull it out. Chuck it because you're not going to need it. Then this is just a valve in case you haven't figured that out. So we're going to just kind of fold it back a little bit and put it back inside the uh, the, the, the ring. You might want to replace this if yours is bad. Again, I'll have a link in the description. Then just put it all back in place like that and you're done. And as you can see, it, it allows the exhaust to get out because it's pretty pliable. Uh, but in the event that there was a situation where maybe the, the rear end of your boat sunk into the water too quickly uh, and the currents were just right, uh, there's a good chance, actually it's a pretty mild chance, but the factory put them in here for a reason, that the water could come back up through the exhaust, back around the Y adapter and into your engine. You really don't want that. So it's a good idea to keep them on there because they're, they're kind of like insurance. The odds of it happening is very, very slim, but if it does, it's going to be a bad day on the lake. So you need them in there, replace them if you can, and uh, you'll make sure they're nice and fresh. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So again, I had a hard time finding all the O-rings and all the adapters and the parts and pieces to do this because the 888 is getting kind of old now. So I'll put in the description, at least at the time of this video, where you can buy all this stuff um, so you can fix your own boat and get it back out on the water.